Hi, my name is Chris Matthew and I'm the creator of Chats.io and I want to explain to you why I created Chats.io, why is it useful, and what can you do with it. So I'm sure you're like me, um, where you're on Facebook or you're on Twitter and or, or you go to an event and there's a ton of things happening uh, around you. And you know, if, if someone's not your friend on Facebook, then you can't like chat with them. And then how do you handle it if like, you know, more than two people want to want to chat at the same time? You need, you know, like a group chat room, which uh, Facebook doesn't really uh, do a good job at. Or what if you're on Twitter? I mean, look look at my tweet deck here. I mean, I've got chats happening all around me. And um, I mean, you know, if you've got a friend, you're going back and forth on something and then someone else joins in it gets, starts getting confusing uh, or, or kind of difficult to follow if you have um, uh, more than two people you know kind of going back and forth and what if you're not following someone who also joins the chat so then you get this really disjointed conversation which you know Twitter doesn't do a good job at, at group chats either so I wanted to create something that was really really simple to take the conversation offline and um, required no registration. Um, all the chats, uh, nothing was logged to a system, so there's no archival of, of any data. They're basically disposable chat rooms that when you're done, you move away and all the, all the chat uh, data is gone. Um, so very temporary chat spots that are really fun and simple for groups of people to get together. Um, and so here's how it works. So if you go to your browser, you uh, open up a new tab here. Uh, we'll go to chats.io. And now here's where the magic happens. In the address bar, after chats.io, pick a chat room uh, that, that you want to, whatever name you want to call your chat. Um, and the more unique, the better. You know, there's a likelihood of, you know, because if someone else does like slash party, you know, then you'll see other people who are also in that chat room. But if you come up with something unique, like um, uh, my cat princess, how about that? Um, that's pretty unique. The first time you come to the chat room, it's going to ask you what your name is. Um, so I'm going to say Chris here, and then it remembers that. Um, so it says Chris is in chats.io slash mycatprincess and if you look up here on the address bar um, you could either drop that link into Twitter and then all your friends can join you or you don't even have to come to chats.io first you could put the link in Twitter and anyone who goes to that link are going to end up in this chat room with you so let me show you um, how that works so like uh, here let's do chats.io slash my my cat princess okay well this doesn't work too well because my name's Chris on, on this browser too but you kinda get the point watch this so when I'm in so I'm, I'm running one one chat uh, browser on Chrome and another chat browser in Safari so these are kinda simulating uh, two different users so if I, as I type, like when as soon as I hit enter, watch how fast the other person is going to see what I type. So I'm going to hit enter now. How about that? Sounds pretty cool. What's up? So now if this person uh, types something in, I love chats.io. Now look, I mean, they're, now they're on this side. So it's a quick and easy way to just create a uh, chat room. So you can copy and paste all of that. Um, and the cool thing is, is that it remembers links. So you know, if you were to, to click on a link, like uh, you know, you're talking in here, you say Google.com, whatever. Um, you click it it's going to open basically a new window with that link so it makes it really simple to create a chat room there's no registration and the name and the whole chat is controlled by the address you give chats.io in your address bar
it's as easy as that. Um, so I hope you use it. I feel free. It's free. Um, just start start putting chats.io links inside of Twitter and taking your conversations offline, and you can stay in them as long as you want. I mean, if you want to basically stay in a chat room for days or weeks or months or years, you know, you're welcome to have your own, you know, uh, uh, permanent chat room, if you will. And anyone who types in that address uh, will come to your chat and visit you. So enjoy it. Thanks.